Mike and Sharon, I am in love with California right now because three mm -hmm. of their major league baseball teams are having fully vaccinated sections. In other words, if you want to sit mm -hmm. in that section, show proof that you are fully vaccinated. Mm -hmm. Good news in the fight against COVID-19. The cases are down. Several states are now announcing reopening plans, including New York City. That'll happen May 19th. But now we are learning herd immunity. Well, it's unlikely and we'll have to just live with the virus. Here to talk about it is Dr. Frieda Fisher, founder, president of Midtown Atlanta Nephrology PC. And good morning again, Dr. Fisher. Um, welcome back to Start Your Day. We appreciate it. What Right out of the gate, let's just, you know, what does it mean for black and brown people who have not yet received the vaccine? Um, because, of course, the numbers are, are just not happening for us at the same rate as, as others. Good morning, Sharon and Mike. This is what it means. Mm. If we don't reach that herd immunity where most of us are protected from COVID-19, then you already know that the people at the highest risk of getting sick from COVID-19, from being hospitalized, from dying, are black people. And so it's so important, especially now that the vaccines have been open to everyone 16 and over, that you take advantage, you get vaccinated, because we are in a variant rich environment. These variants are on the rise and they're not playing. They are making people sicker and they are more deadly. And so it's very important. Black and brown people need to get vaccinated. You do not have to pay for the vaccines at this point. So please protect yourself, protect your community. Dr. Fisher, overall, look, you know, we're, we're at about, what, between 30 and 35% fully uh, inoculated right now. 80% is what they're saying for herd immunity. We're probably not going to get there. Let's say we don't get there like you mentioned, and it's around fall and winter and it's around flu season. What happens? Does it get worse for us? Are we going back to the way it was last year? Are we just going to live with it? Are we going to just ride it out? The number's going to be the same. What's the worst case scenario for us? Okay. Well, let me tell you, Mike, I still am a hopeless optimist. So true. If things keep going the way they are, we're not likely to get to herd immunity. But it's not just because of us not reaching the 80%. The definition of herd immunity is dynamic. It changes. Herd immunity depends on how transmissible, how contagious a virus is. And so even if, say, 70% would have gotten us to herd immunity with the original coronavirus, the wild type, with all of these variants, mm -hmm. with them being more that keeps moving that number up to 80% could be 85%. But let's just say we don't get to herd immunity if we're going to be pessimistic. There's still some things we can do. Number one, still get vaccinated because they will protect us from the original type and give us some protection from the variants thus far. Also, we need to still use our common sense and follow CDC guidelines, wear masks, still socially distance. And then we need to protect ourselves from the other infections we already know about. Get the flu vaccine and for parents make sure you're still getting your children vaccinated for the measles the mumps rubella the illnesses we know about and let's keep the hand hygiene thing going because if you look around you notice you did mm -hmm. not see flu during this pandemic so being hygienic has protected us from more than just COVID 19 it's protected us in general so we have not lost the battle we have not lost the battle not totally giving up but we are likely going to have to adjust our lifestyle with this pandemic, with this COVID-19 going forward. Yeah, yeah. I like your optimism, um, Dr. Fisher. Um, <laughs> it seems that we haven't, <laughs> I do. I mean, you know, pretty in pink and you just kind of make us say, listen, we'll get through this. Um, but we, it seems like we haven't been able to agree on the facts when it comes to kids. American Academy of Pediatrics found um, children account for 22% of new cases. Um, does that number surprise you? Could it be even higher? The children are a mystery because many of them are asymptomatic. And so they may get the mm -hmm. infection and hearing it and spreading it. But if they don't have symptoms, then we're likely never to really know the true number. And it's interesting, it's similar to the cases for adults that were reported. For the longest time, we said, oh, there are about 30 million, 32 million cases. But now that we're testing people's blood, people who are donating blood, we see that it's really over three times that. In other words, we may not know the exact number, but the good news is that we're expecting very soon for the Pfizer vaccine to be approved in children ages 12 to 15. And we know that if you look at the U.S. population, ages 12 and up, 
that's 85% of the population. And so that will help us to get to this herd immunity that I'm still hoping that we'll, we'll reach or at least get close to. I don't want y'all to think I'm pessimistic. I, I, I want the world to open back up. I want everybody to get vaccinated. I've gotten vaccinated. I'm good. I'm trying to help other people do the same thing. I'm just being realistic when it comes to the numbers and the way they're skewing right now. But I will say this because Broadway is opening back up. You see some ballparks requiring vaccine passports. A lot of colleges are saying you have to be fully vaccinated to come back on campus. Can you see other industries, businesses, uh, you know, uh, things that are happening that are fun, that may be incentives for people out there who may be on the fence to get vaccinated, may be something that may sway them into getting that shot that they need? Absolutely. And Mike and Sharon, I'm in love with California right now because three mm. of their major league baseball teams are having fully vaccinated sections. In other words, if you want to sit mm. in that section, show proof that you are fully vaccinated. Meaning you have your second mm. shot, two weeks prior, or if it's a Johnson & Johnson, you for one shot, two weeks prior. And your kids are not excluded. Children between the ages of two and 15 years of age just have to show proof that they are COVID-19 negative at least 24 hours if they take an antigen test or 72 hours prior with a PCR test. They're still requiring masks, but there'll be no social distancing and you can take those masks off if you are fully vaccinated mm. while you're eating. And so that's an incentive. And also there, even tonight at the Mariners game, they're offering vaccinations before the game. And so there's some mm. things that private can do to really encourage, encourage society to get vaccinated. And we can take some choices into our own hands, even when the different governments and governors take away mask mandates, open things up, and it seems a little premature. Just because businesses are open, you don't have to go. Just because theme parks are open, if it's not safe, you don't have to go. We have to have some personal accountability. And see, that's how I keep that optimism. I just believe in the people. <laughs> yes, we got to believe. Keep hope alive, Dr. Freeman Fisher. We love it. We love it. We love it. Stay optimistic. Uh, we will continue to stay prayed up and we'll continue to have you on the show because we love you having you here, uh, giving us your Ooh, knowledge. I love and being your here. Thank you. Yeah. We love you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, thank you so much for starting your day with us. We appreciate you. Hey, we got a live look at Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, get ready for some uh, storm chances today. Uh, Kevin, Kevin's got the bad news for you. Blame it all on him. He's the weather guy. We just uh, tell you what he's going to say. Uh, it's coming up after the break. So, yeah. All emails go to him. Closed captioning brought to you by Nutrisystem. Lose weight and get healthy with meals delivered to your door.